For years now, in undisclosed locations around America, the U.S. government has been paying for an undisclosed number of chicken flocks in order to stockpile an undisclosed number of chicken eggs. This information is top secret, a matter of national security, all part of a larger government plan to create an emergency stockpile of vaccines in the event of a flu pandemic. The reason the government had to get into the secret chicken flock slash vaccine business is because the market for emergency vaccines is not like the regular market for, you know, bikes or raspberries. It is a lot weirder than that. It is a highly, highly uncertain market. And this is a problem because markets hate uncertainty. Consider one of the most common vaccines manufactured every year, the flu vaccine. It is a fragile, delicate, expensive process requiring thousands of chicken eggs. And chickens only lay one egg a day, which means you need thousands of chickens. A live flu virus is injected into each egg. They're gently placed on a conveyor belt. They go into an incubator for around 10 days so that the virus can grow in it. Then they come back out. And scientists kind of suck out the egg white with the virus in it. That's dumped into a spinning container that separates any shells or particles that may have gotten in by accident. And then they have to kill the virus by chopping it up. Then they wash it with detergent. By the end, there's almost zero actual egg white left, so it's mixed in with other fluid. That becomes the vaccine. And in a flu emergency, you need a lot of eggs all at once. In a pandemic influenza outbreak, you need about 900,000 chicken eggs every single day for a six to nine month period of time, just to make the vaccine supply needed for the United States. Plus, drugs and vaccines have a shelf life, they go bad. So if an outbreak goes away on its own, which happens sometimes, companies can't just put all their expensive vaccines in storage and then wait for the next pandemic to sell them, they lose the money. So pharmaceutical companies don't always rush to get into the vaccine business. So, in 2001, the U.S. government decided to become the market, become the buyer for these vaccines. There was an avian flu scare that year. It seemed like it could be the next big pandemic. And when the government tried to get vaccines for the country in case it got way worse, there weren't enough vaccine doses available. Companies weren't making them. That was not good. So Congress created the Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority, BARDA. BARDA said, hey, drug companies, we promise to buy the drugs and vaccines, even if the outbreak goes away. Let's just make sure we have this stuff in stock. And one of the first things BARDA did was secure those chicken flocks to ensure that if or when a flu pandemic happens, the U.S. will have enough chickens to make enough vaccines. The information around it is top secret because if the egg supply is compromised, the United States vaccine supply is compromised. And after that 2001 scare, the U.S. government became the buyer for all kinds of vaccines and drugs, smallpox, anthrax, and of course, they're planning to be the buyer for a COVID-19 vaccine. Right now, there are at least 20 companies and universities all rushing to create a vaccine for this new coronavirus. And the U.S. government, BARDA, has partnered with two of them. Some companies say they already have a vaccine candidate, but they still need to test it on human beings. It'll likely be a year before there's a coronavirus vaccine on the market. There's only so much rushing that can happen because vaccines require time, life, needs to grow. But when the vaccine is ready, the government will buy it and likely keep buying it to make sure that companies keep making it. 